Welcome back to the Roy Works channel. Uh, my name is Jason Roy. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to do, a, at the beginning of this video, I'm going to do a quick update on what I've been up to. Uh, since the last video, um, I've been trying to do a lot of upkeep around my house in with the vehicles and all the different things. And also I got a little sidetracked because my son Tyler bought this uh, 2001 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Uh, he's always loved these vehicles and he actually got a real good deal on this one. So we've been uh, working on that in a minute. I'll just show you what we did to this. And doing all these projects has kind of kept me away from Ned, the CGA2A project. Uh, so I get to do some catching up with that. Uh, but before I do that, um, I made a pact with myself when I decided to have multiple antique vehicles that before I continue to work on a newer project, all the other projects have to be maintained and be drivable. Uh, so I'm having an issue with my International Scout. Um, I, I lost my clutch at the end of last year. So I'm just gonna, in this video, I'm gonna just take a look and see if we can figure out what the issue is. But before that, I'll show you what we did with this, uh, with this, uh, TJ. So starting out, he had an issue with the uh, water pump leaking. So he actually replaced that. And while he had that out, he figured it would be a good idea to uh, change the radiator. So we changed the radiator on this. And uh, at, at that point, he thought he was ready to get an inspection sticker. Uh, so we brought it there and they told him that his uh, ball joints were bad. Uh, so we ended up replacing those and kind of uh, cleaning up this area. Um, the brakes were good. The uh, last owner had actually just did a brake job on it. Uh, so those are good. And we kind of cleaned up the area, just did a uh, superficial makeover on it, just kind of painted up the frame and <laughs> wire brushed it down and got it uh, looking good. Uh, another issue he had was on the back side. <coughs> This is an older Jeep, so you can come to expect that it's gonna have issues and you're, that you're gonna to have to work on it. Um, he Also, the cover for the rear gas tank had a big hole in it, so we replaced that. <clears throat> and now he's going through the process of getting new tires, and we're gonna to wanna to clean up uh, this part of the frame, get it all the scaly rust off it, and get it sprayed up. Uh, also, he has a couple of small holes in the frame, so we're gonna patch those. So that's kind of occupying this space here, uh, taking up Tracy's uh, spot here. She's nice enough to let him keep it in here for a while. Uh, he's gonna get rid of this purple uh, fender here. Uh, he's, he, he's getting riveted fenders like that. Uh, he's gonna be putting on there. <clears throat> um, he loves Jurassic Park, so he has the Jurassic Park cover. But uh, <clears throat> for the project for today, we're gonna work on the uh, the Scout. So I'm gonna go, uh, that's been sitting all winter. So we'll take a minute, we'll go get it started and see if we can figure out why I lost my clutch. I'm belie I believe it's the slave cylinder, uh, but we'll, I'm gonna leave that outside uh, and take a look at it Before out there. Before we get started on the Scout, I just wanna let you know I got all the pots in to do the brake lines um and uh get that underway so in the next video is going to definitely be working on the willies that'll be coming up in the next uh week or so but so let's head out and see so this at go. the end of last year this way i noticed is nothing nothing there at all for clutch but what's weird is if i fill up the reservoir with uh fluid and pump it a few times, it does come back. So I'm gonna do that now so I can at least move it out of the temporary garage and over onto that top over there. Uh, I don't like working directly on the ground, so I feel like just laying a top down makes it a little bit more comfortable. Before I get this started, uh, I wanna just see if I can still get the clutch back. I'm gonna fill this uh, reservoir up with fluid actually empty
All right, I'm gonna see if I can get uh, the clutch to come back. All right, it's starting to come back. So I feel like that's telling me that there's a leak somewhere because it's automatically bleeding itself out. All right, I think that's enough that's gonna get us started. All right, so I'm under here and I can see the slave cylinder is, is drenched in fluid. And I can actually see it's dripping towards the front over here where it meets the clutch plate. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is remove the skid plate and uh, get a better look at it. I actually, I think I'll actually remove that. So with the help of Tracy, she's gonna, my lovely assistant is going to, <laughs> um, step on the clutch and see if we can see where it's leaking um, because there's brake fluid i mean uh fluid all over the place so it's hard to pinpoint where it's coming from i think it's coming from right in there but we'll see all right trace would you mind stepping on that and pumping it a few times Nothing yet. What was that? Um, oh, it seem, all right, it seems to be coming pretty good from right there. Oh, now it's really loose. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. There it goes. All right, good. That's kind of where I thought it was. So hopefully it's just an uh, O-ring in there. Uh, I'm going to pop that out and we'll take a look. All right, so I got that out. And I have an in, in the garage. Uh, now I'm just going to clean it up um, and try to get it easier to work on. Let that soak in for a minute. Okay, so the fluid seemed to be coming from around here. So I, I have had this pop before because when I first got it, this was all packed with dirt, so I took this out and cleaned it all out. Um, but I remember, I seem to remember there's an O-ring in this, uh, this piston area. Because uh, this is a piston that goes up and down that's controlled by the um, hydraulic, uh, hydraulic fluid coming out of there. Uh, so when you suppress the clutch, it pushes on the cylinder. So I believe that's leaking in there. So let's get that apart. So it don't, doesn't look like so much O-ring as this rubber pot right here that seals it. So this pot must be worn out. So it looks like I definitely need a new slave cylinder. Uh, so, but in the meantime, I have to move uh, the scout around my yard, get it back in the temporary garage. So I think the issue with this slave cylinder is that scoring on the inside. Can you see that right there? That, I think from the dirt in there before caused that scoring. Uh, there's another pretty bad score right there. But I think that's before the sealing part of it, or actually after it. Uh, so I don't think that is quite the issue. I think that is right down there. Right there. 
that's some pretty deep pitting. I'm gonna, for the heck of it, I'm gonna try to hone that out and just see if by giving it a smooth surface, if that mushroom here will push out and seal up temporary. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna definitely get a new one because I don't wanna be stranded somewhere with no clutch. Uh, but I, I would like to be able to move it back and forth. That looks like a little cut right there too. Yeah, so I'd like to be able to move it for now, just around the yard without a gushing fluid out of it. So I'm gonna try to hone that and see if I can at least get it to temporarily seal. All right, so I have that all honed out and I put the piston back in there. Um, I'm gonna put it back in anyway, cause even if it leaks, I can still move it around a little bit, uh, but I'll see if that made any difference at all by honing that out. I got rid of all those mocks. Um, I realized that makes the diameter of this a little bit bigger, uh, but I'm hoping because of the mushroom shape of that um, that seal that it might compensate for that when it has pressure behind it. Probably not, but, uh, I'm just going to give it a shot. All right. So I get that all back, back together and we bled out the line, uh, through here. Uh, and we're about to try, uh, try it to see if it works. Uh, Trace, could you pump it? Oh, what is that? Could you pump it again, Trace? All right, it, it is working. Uh, like I said, I'm still going to replace replace this pot, uh, but I, I think this is a good temporary fix. I'll give it a shot and see how it works. Trace, does it seem to be working, like, stiff? It's very stiff. It is. All right, good. All right, I'll give it a shot. Give it a try. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'm glad we figured out what the problem was. It should be a relatively easy fix. I think the pot is a little expensive, which all in all, that isn't bad. It's definitely better than if it was a bad clutch or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna order that this week and pop it in sometime either next weekend or during the week. Uh, I want to actually get this ready to go for uh, car shows that are rapidly approaching. Uh, the weather is spectacular. It's it's awesome. I'm so excited for this time of year. Uh, today I also started the FC and that started up really well and that's ready to go. Um, the only other thing I have left is the MG, which I'll do probably tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Easter, so I don't know if I'm going to get away with doing that, but uh, maybe. Uh, 
but we'll get that going and we'll be ready to go. Uh, but on the next video, I definitely will be back on the willies. I want to start doing the uh, brake line work. Uh, I've been getting pieces here and there to complete that. Uh, and like I said, I've been helping Tyler with his Jeep, so hopefully his Jeep will get inspected this week. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. And if you are new to the channel, um, if you could just hit the like button uh, and also subscribe, that helps my channel. Uh, but thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you next time.